How you doing? Welcome back to Major Slack Videos, your first stop for titillating tactical gaming. And uh, you know what? We have all the ingredients, all the goodies we need to make, to do a complete makeover. To make new smithing gear, to make new archery gear, and to make new alchemy gear. Not necessarily in that order. It would probably be more like new alchemy gear, then new smithing gear, then new archery gear. And um, this starts with getting glass smithing. So let's get that right now. Let's get the glass smithing perk. I'm eligible for it and I've got the number of perks required. So put one into advanced armors. I usually skip completely over advanced armors and then put one into glass smithing. We can now make glass armor and glass weapons at the forges if we have the materials. And I do indeed have the materials and the thing is I don't want to do my complete makeover just yet because I would like to get enchanting up to 80 so that I can get the final enchanter perk, all right? And once I get that, then I'm gonna spend all these beautiful grand soul gems that I've been collecting over the ages. But one thing I do wanna do is uh, make a new bow because I can essentially double my bow damage by making a glass bow and improving it up to legendary, okay? So here's all the grand souls I've collected. Nine in black soul gems and I got five more down here, seven more. <clears throat> five more pardon me here we go so a total of 14 grand souls I've got to spend I could do a super massive makeover but I'm just gonna make a glass bow for now and to make a glass bow I need one refined moonstone one refined moonstone one refined malachite and I believe um, let's go find out right now we got a forge right here mr. forge what do I need to make a glass bow you need stuff here. Oh, that's all I need. One refined moonstone and two refined malachite. Huh, I can make that right now. Because I have those materials in my smithy materials dresser. So I'm just going to use my old gear use my old smithing gear and use my ready I went too, too, too far here. Here we are. Yeah, here we go. Um, what am I doing? Not that one. Here, this one here. This is my smithing materials dresser. And refined moonstone. How many of those do I need? Take two just in case. And we'll take two of these just in case. There we go. That's that. Let's go make a glass bow. Uh, I need my smithing material, or smithing gear rather. The smithing gear. Somebody was confused about this. The smithing gear has no effect when you're actually creating items. It only ha helps you when you're improving items, okay? But I'm going to bring it along anyway. Smithing ring, smithing necklace. I should have a smithing smock here and the smithing something else. Smithing bracers, there they are. That's my smithing gear. And I should also make a uh, smithing potion. You can make a fortify smithing potion with blister wort. Let's take two just in case I screw up and glowing mushrooms. Glowing mushrooms. Once again, I'm gonna take two just in case I screw up. There we go. Let's put on our mixers gear. This is my fortified alchemy gear. I'm gonna make a whole new batch of this, whole new set of fortified alchemy gear. Uh, once I get enchanting up to 80, as I explained earlier, right? So for now, we're gonna use the old gear, Festus. Death is but the time to. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Out of the way, you. There we go. Fortified smithing. Two, please, for 30 seconds, weapon and improving. Weapon and armor improving is 105% better. There we go. All right, quit alchemy. Now. What in a... I wonder if he can damage you if you stand in the way of... <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, I got a death wish. Okie dokie. Uh, one glass bow, please. There we go. Glass bow. Do you wish to create this item? Yes, I do. Wait, 
Voila. Now, uh, let's put on the smithing apparel. Smithing bracers, smithing necklace, smithing ring, and smithing smock. There we go. Check out the active effects. There we go. Fortify smithing. Times four, so that's 80%. Stacks up. Weapon and weapons and armor improving is 80% better, and if I take a potion, it'll stack up on top of that. So let's just do a quick save just in case I screw up. There we go. And gobble down the smithing potion. Lug lug. Hit up the grindstone. And guess who forgot to bring enough refined to malachite? See, this is why I do a quick save just before I do this stuff. Okay, so let's quick load. Okay, let's go get this some more. I forgot. I need some refined malachite to do the improving. Just brought enough to make the boat. Yeah, always quick save, boys and girls, before you do any uh, improving of weapons or enchanting of weapons. Save or quick save, because you never know. It's this complex. Uh, refine Malachite. How many did it say? One, two, anyways, I'll bring two just in case. Probably just one. Okay, so we didn't waste a potion because Slack remembered a quick save. All right, uh, fortified smithing, plug, plug. Here we go again. Round two, ding! And we have a glass bow. We can improve it up to legendary. Do it to it. There we go. 107 damage. Okay, so let's compare this to um, my other bow, my elven bow. Let's put on our archer's gear. There we go, archer's gear. Whoops. And weaponry down to the chilling air. The chilling air does 129 damage, and my new glass bow does 251. Bam! Damage. So that was worth it, even if I don't didn't like, um, you know, create a whole new set of alchemy gear and a whole new set of smithing gear. Um, still worth it to make a glass bow because I'm gonna be doing double damage. I'm debating whether I should enchant it or not. Um, I could just make another glass bow after I get uh, my enchanting up to 80 to replace this one. So I think I will enchant it just for the heck of it and make a new chillinator. The chillinator version you, 2. Get out of the way there. We're doing a walkthrough here. Go away. Add a boy. Add a girl. Uh, and we need some enchanting potions for this. Don't have any on board. Let's go make some. Put on this, the mixer's gear. Everyone is uh, either always hogging the uh, the alchemy table or hogging the arcane enchanter. He mixes his gear on. In the dark, brother. Fortify enchanting potions are made with blue butterfly wing. I'm only going to need. Uh, let's take two. Make two just in case. And snowberries, I believe. Just going from memory here. Found acceptance, love, if you've got a whole bunch of ingredients, you've been doing a whole bunch of like you know, potion making one. I'm just gonna do a quick save here. This is something you do if you can't remember how to make potions. This is a little trick. If you got your apothecary satchel or your storage, your ingredient storage area near the alchemy table, just do a quick Hello. save right before. Grab all the ingredients, no matter how heavy it makes you, and then just saunter over to the alchemy cable table, and you got yourself a list of everything you've made there. So let's say you're trying to remember how to make fortify enchanting. So you just go down to the list, look for fortify enchanting, you remember, oh, it's blue butterfly wing plus snowberry. So then you quit alchemy, right? Quick load. And now you all you can remember that all you need is blue, blue butterfly wing and snowberry. See, it's this little trick there to, uh, you know, you don't have to like write everything down like I do. <laughs> Okay. Stick with the slack and you won't get whacked. Alright, so let's make ourselves a couple of... Well, let's just make one. I'm gonna fly by the seat of my pants here. There we go. So for 30 seconds, items are enchanted 26% stronger. Alright, there we go. 
Once again, hogging oh, the arcane enchanter. Out of the way there. Go away. Go. Shoot. You, shoot. Shoot. Doing a walkthrough here. Yeah, a boy. Okay. Now, gobble down. Wait, wait. Let's do a quick save. Always quick save. And push the fortify enchanting. Hit up the table. Exciting time. Don't need any special gear for this. The thing we want to enchant is the glass bow. Use Grand Soul Gem. And enchantment we want is some frost damage. Uh, that's what we want. 22, 22 points frost damage. Let's rename it. Shum. The Chillinator version 2. There we go. And it's done. We got ourselves a new bow. Alright. So. Let's take a look at that sucker. Put on the right apparel. The right apparel, rather. And there's there's our new bow. The Chilly Narrative version 2. 251 damage plus 22 points of frost damage. And like I said, when we get enchanting up to 80 and we get the final uh, enchanter perk, I'll replace this with yet another glass bow. Alright, so that's my bow for now. Um, let's favorite it. Hook it up. Unfavorite that. Go into the hot list. This gets set as hockey number three. Oh boy, I'm hockey number three. That's right, you're hockey number three. And this is our new chillinator. A glass bow. Yeah. Alright, so that is that. Um, I also want to make a whole bunch of power potions. I got a little list here. And just want to check my active effects here. I did this all without getting the rest of the bonus. Shame on you, Slack. For shame, for shame, for shame, for shame. Anyways, this is one item. Let's go get the rest of the bonus now. Grab a nap here. There we go. Thief stone. Rested. In effect. That's very good. Let's make a whole bunch of power potions. Namely, uh, Death Bell. Take them all. Jazz Bay Grapes and Salt Pile. This is a new power potion I've uh, discovered. Jazz Bay Grapes. Just collected a whole bunch of those out on our mammoth hunting trip. And Salt Pile. Salt Pile. Salt Pile. So we got tons of those. Right there. Next. Uh, Dragon's Tongue. Fly Manina. More Tapanella. I actually know where to get some more and more Tapanella. I'm tempted, but no, I think I'll pass on that. But I know where to get some more. I was complaining before about no place in Skyrim where there's like, you know, you can get a, an abundance, find an abundance of more Tapanel. There is actually no place, but there's one place, there's a little run you can do where you're guaranteed, you're guaranteed to get 10. It's from the Guardian Stones down to Riverwood. If you follow that stone road along there and you look very carefully on all the logs on either side of the river, you find about 10 more Tapanella. So, uh, fly. I, mean, I, just, I just said that in case anybody was wondering. <laughs> and more Tapanella. And I think I have a couple Giant's Toes, too. Giant's Toe, and make the old favorite Creek Cluster Giant's Toe in wheat. Only need two creep cluster and two wheat. And finally, um, I think that's about it. Death bell, da, 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 yeah, yeah, that's it. Let's go make some power oh, potions. Oh, good. Let's put the mixer's gear on. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. See you, brother, gearing up to kill the emperor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exciting time. Quite, you were doing the walk here. Creep cluster, giant's toe, and wheat. Yeah, sorry. Let's make a couple of those. So level me up. And death bell, jazz bay grapes, salt pile. Make the poisonous slow worth twenty two hundred bucks. And I can make uh, fifteen of those. Fifteen more of those. Let's make them. Done and done. And also, Dragon's Tongue, Fly Amanita, and more Tapanella. 
makes another power potion worth, uh, as you can see, 2400 bucks. Let's make, uh, what, 11 of those? Done and done. And I just leveled up, and that's exactly what I wanted to do. So now I can buy some more training. And this time, it's enchanting training. It's been quite a boom. Look at that. Unfortunately, my available to enchanting trainer it can only take me up to level 75. So I'm going to have to uh, activate another enchanting trainer by doing the um, that mission for the Temple of Debella. I forget what it's called. The Sibyl of Debella or something like that. Anyways, we'll get to that in a couple of videos. For now, let's jam all these ingredients back into the apothecary satchel. In you go. What's our carry weight? Like 192. And that is because I have an extra bow. So I think that's about it. Uh, I've got the money. Let's go sell some stuff. And let's go take on that stuff that I forgot to sell earlier. Namely, uh, this thing here and this dwarven bow, keeping everything else. All right. Yeah, at any rate, that's the glass bow video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And join me next time when I continue on into Skyrim. And we're going to go out with our new bow and start poning a whole bunch of Forsworn Arses in this area here. We've got tons of missions to do here. A couple of them for the Thane of Markarth. I want to rape and pillage the Coal Skicker Mine. I want to uh, take out the leader of the Forskull Lookout. And I want to... Um, Deepwood Redoubt. That should be marked here on the map somewhere. Anyways, we'll get to all we'll get to all that next video. For now, uh, hey, thank you all very much for watching, and join me next time when I take on some more Skyrim. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining, hey, don't forget to give the old slacks there a thumbs. Up. Yeah. All right, that's it. Slack is out. <laughs>